JD fishing here. I'm at Bartlett Lake right now. As you can tell, it's pretty windy right now, so I'm trying to cut the GoPro with my hands, but I don't know how well it's working. But got two carp lines out right now. I was lucky enough to find a friend that gave me one carp, so I have one carp right now. And got my campsite right here. Bare, bare necessities. Should have a small fire. It's like, like I said, it's the beginning of March right now. So it's still pretty cold. The water's only 60. So it's definitely pretty cold right now. So probably gonna fish shallow-ish and deep-ish just because it's kind of the transition right now. So see how I do. Hopefully I can get something on, on shore. Carp on, I think it's a good one. Tree stuck to him. Nice and easy. There we go. There's a carp and a tree pounder. Take it all day, every day. There's fish hooked in the mouth and tail. I don't think he was going to come off. Here's a good one. No small ones yet, but can't complain too much. A bit smaller one. That might be a single hooker. It's pretty close. Starting to look good. Lots of these little one pounders. All right, well, the GoPro on my, my head just died during this fight. <laughs> so, a good little look at this guy. This is number eight. So, at this point now, I'm just gonna start swapping them out, get smaller ones, because I have now eight that are all more than one pound, so hopefully I can get some smaller ones. But I do like bigger ones right now, big bait, hopefully big fish. See what happens. It's this one. It's probably the biggest, or close to it. Dude, go. All right, starting to calm down a little bit. Boats are dying down. The sun just went behind that mountain, which means I'm getting ready to start running baits out. Biggest one. 
There's a real healthy one. I like to hook them in this little bubble on their fin. That's my safer hook. And this is like the actual secure hook that I always put in the tail. Like that. Make sure you clear the scales. Don't want to be like Grant. And then like that. Got a nice little two hooked rig carp. Got one hook on this side, the other hook facing that side. And you're good to go. This is probably a good pound and a half carp. And I have 10 ounces of lead right now to secure him. Grab another one of these guys. Just a cookie cutter size. And I'll take this one. Just like that. Now I get the kayak and run them out. Sitting at about 30. Down to the dips. about 40 feet. This is about the biggest carp I had out and I trimmed him a little bit just because it's very strong, very lively. All right, got my two lines out right now. I have a pretty big sized carp on here, this one, and like a one pounder or something like that on that one so fishing decent depths depth range probably at least 10 feet between them or something like that so let's see what we can do well, settling in it's officially dark now we have a really bright moon <laughs> it's almost a hundred percent just got this little baby fire going so just hanging out now Well, I have no idea if this is a fish or not, but my line is way to the right. I 
feeling this isn't even a fish. Maybe it is. Yep, that's a flathead. <laughs> He's very big. Hey. What's up, dude? <laughs> and a good hook set on him. I barely even hooked him, really. And then popped out. That's pretty weird. Not sure how big he is. 19.15 pounds. I'll take that. All day, every day. Alright guys. Not sure of the size of this one. I don't think it's very big. Okay. That's cool. Again, <laughs> kind of a lucky hook set. Number two, it's only like maybe 10 o'clock at the most. This one's a little bit smaller. Let's say this one's like 14, 15. Thirteen point six five. All right, well, it's just a bad morning time. I think it's just a little bit before 7 or something like that. I'm probably going to head out pretty early, so I'm awake now and starting to pack a little bit. So, that last flathead I caught, he's not dead. He's just been floating the entire time. You can see him kind of recover, but he's still just like floating. So I think I might just take him home, be safe, or release the other one. But I don't want to potentially release that flyhead if he's just going to swim and then float up and not recover. So probably just fillet him and take him home. All right, pretty much packing up now. I'm going to bring in these fish. I'm gonna release that bigger one and like I said I'll probably take home that smaller one just because he wasn't doing so hot He was ready. And then this guy, although he seems healthy, he literally is still floating. So I don't really want to release him just for him to float and get hit by a boat or something stupid like that. So I'm going to do the safe, safer reason and go ahead and take him home and eat him. They do taste great. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna reel in these last two lines. I just released that one, and I just filleted the other one. So, gonna pack up, head back, and enjoy the fish. See you guys in the next one.